Hi guys, for this review I have prepared Canon PowerShot S6530HS. This is an ultra zoom camera, meaning it has huge optical zoom, in this case 50 times. Other specifications also look promising. It has 16 megapixel back illuminated sensor, 3 inches LCD screen, Wi-Fi connectivity and a wide range of automatic and manual shooting modes. So basically this camera is equipped with pretty much everything a more demanding amateur users might want from a camera today. Compared to the previous model S6520 only two things have changed. S6530 has slightly more optical zoom and built-in Wi-Fi. If you have S6520 I see no reason to upgrade. Otherwise keep watching this review because this is a very good camera. Most interesting feature is the lens with its 50 times optical zoom. It has two zoom speeds and in 35mm equivalent covers from 25 to 1200mm. That is huge range making it capable of shooting pretty much anything, from tight interiors or people group shots up to zooming in very distant details. Here's an example video how much optical zoom this really is. Truly impressive. The lens is stabilized of course, it would be unusable without it. Aperture ranges from f3.4 to 6.5. That is typical for such big zooms, but it also means this lens is not the best choice for regular low light use. Autofocus speed is quite good. It almost never takes more than a second to focus. I really like this magnification in the center you are seeing right now. It is very practical to verify correct focus. Optically the lens performs decent. It is sharp on wide angle even in corners. The more you zoom in it loses some contrast but still remains usable even at maximum optical zoom. For example this pigeon was shot on maximum zoom and still looks good. Macro is also very good. This camera can focus down to 0 cm. That means you can put the tip of the lens against something and take a photo of it, at least in theory. In reality the lens will make a shade and there will be no light but still you can get some extreme close-ups. The most important thing on any camera, the image quality is very good. Exposure is almost always spot on and in automatic modes images have slightly saturated colors. Just enough not to look boring and never too much to look artificial. When you zoom into images most details are preserved. Yes, there are still some traces of noise reduction even in daylight, but it is much better with every new model. In these examples you can clearly see fine details in crest and leaves preserved. In low light noise becomes apparent, but for occasional use it is capable of reducing usable images. Build quality is solid. Plastic may be a bit rough looking, but it is well assembled together. Grip is very deep, covered with rubber and makes holding with one hand very easy. Dials at the top are firm and there is no fear you will accidentally change something. Most buttons on the back are big but have very short travel and do not feel very solid. Pop-up flash with a range of 6 meters is built in. Keep in mind it will never pop up automatically. You have to raise it with your fingers. This is typical for Canon Ultra Zoom models. Various shooting modes are available, ranging from full automatic to full manual. If you like to experiment but know nothing, start with the live mode. It will give you control over light, white balance and saturation. There are also scene and creative modes with various filters to play with when you're bored. Manual mode gives you full control over shutter, aperture, ISO and manual focus. That's all you will ever need. I would also like to point out hybrid auto mode. It combines photo and video recording in a very interesting way. Look at these six photos. The camera stores video information all the time in the built-in buffer and when you take a shot, last several seconds before you push the shutter button are then recorded on memory card in the form of a video. So you end up with something like this. It is very cool way to take portraits because people tend to goof around when posing so you will end up with potentially very funny video. Classic video recording is available at full HD resolution with stereo sound. Video quality is pretty good just like still images. Nice colors and exposure, good retention of details and quite effective image stabilization. LCD has 3 inches diagonal and 460,000 dots. It has average viewing quality, meaning viewing angles are not that perfect and it is dim in daylight, especially in direct sunlight when it is hardly usable. A6530 supports classic SDHC memory cards. Battery is a lithium unit strong enough for around 200 shots. That is only average. It is recharged in external charger, you cannot charge it in camera with USB cable. Connectors are on the right side, standard mini USB and mini HDMI output. Options are controlled using well-known quick menu which is fast and easy to use. 
Other less used options are in the main menu, which is also same like on other Canon cameras. Nothing special to be shown here. So to round things up, Canon A6530 is quite a capable camera. It is equipped with all the important manual options, has big zoom range with effective image stabilization and very good image and video quality. It is very easy to use, so I can recommend it to anyone searching for a good all-around camera. That's all for this review. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you want to support my work, please buy stuff on Amazon using affiliate links below this video. You will not pay any more, but I will get a small percentage from every purchase. Thanks for watching.